Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Friends welcome back to my channel Today we will discuss series board for electronic workbench If you are working on power electronics and you are repairing some kind of power supplies switch mod power supplies or some boards in a repair process there are some human errors there are some component failures to cover all the repair series we must need a series lamp to limit the input current for any board. For example, we are going to troubleshoot a power supply. If we don't use series board, if there is a minor error, it can become a big disaster for hold the board and it can, it can damage the board. For example, with original fault, maybe it will repaired in one dollar. But due to any component failure, in the repair process or due to any mistake during repair process it can damage the board totally so let's discuss today i assembled a model for a workbench series lamp so it will very helpful to repair switch mod power supplies to repair air conditioner boards inverters like that let's start we have a circuit breaker here this circuit breaker will deliver power to these series lamps and we are controlling the series lamp as per our requirement. In every case when we will use this series lamp this directly connected series lamp will remain in the circuit. It is 60 watt tungsten lamp. If you want to test some other board which is consuming too much current in that case we can turn on the first switch so it will add this lamp in parallel with the first lamp so both lamps will parallel and the both lamps will become in series with the unit of test if we are working on welding machine and world tracy boards then we can turn the second switch so this second switch will connect the third lamp one two three lamps and these are reaching here i will suggest is if you are working on a workbench and you need a perfect design and you want to design a perfect safety wise series board you need to induct a isolation transformer at the input line and neutral will reach to the isolation transformer so we will connect line and neutral to the transformer for example this is the primary side and this is the secondary side so we will use primary and secondary we will take output for the secondary and this circuit will connect it with secondary. For that case you need to arrange a maybe 5 kVA, 10 kVA transformer because when we are working on welding machines, where we are working on some inverter boards, it consumes too much current. So that will helpful to isolate the circuit because these boards, the switching power supplies and inverter boards are unisolated circuits. For troubleshooting purpose, for equipment safety, for human safety, we need to induct an isolation transformer. If we use isolation transformer, and then we need to use an ampere meter or watt meter. The ampere meter is useful. So in the output side of the transformer here, before this circuit breaker, we can use AC ampere meter 20 ampere 30 ampere in series circuit in the output of the transformer if you cannot arrange the transformers then line and neutral in line or neutral we can connect a ampere meter this ampere meter will indicate the total load current so it will also a useful addition after that it is reaching to the circuit breaker one and circuit breaker second and we are connecting four wires the one wire is going directly to this lamp, the first lamp, and then the second wire to the first switch here. The outside of this switch is going to this lamp. The third wire coming to this switch, and the output of this switch is connected to this lamp. The output connections of these lamps, one, two, three these are reaching at this point one two three 
then we are adding an other switch that is reaching here directly it is connected here what is the requirement of this switch for example we we are going to test a small load we can say 50 watt power supply 60 watt power supply at that case we will turn off these switches one two three three switches these switches will remain off just only one lamp will remain in the circuit and we will pro provide power to the power supply board we are testing some small power supply 50 watt 60 watt power supply so it will control the current if we are working some some heavy power supply we can say 100 watt 200 watt power supply in that case we can turn on this switch if you are working on some welding machine at that case we will turn on these both switches the current will flow from the first second and the third lamp and three lamps will remain in parallel with series to the load load will connected here neutral is reaching here the third wire ground wire or earthing wire must be connected all the time when these three lamps will identify that the load is safe and it is working within limit at that time we can turn on this switch so this switch will bypass all this network so it will apply direct voltage at the output terminal first of all I will turn off one two three switch this bypass switch for example I am testing this power supply circuit breaker is on so this system is now applied power we will see the first lamp it indicated that the power supply is turned on it draw the current capacitor was charged so this time it is working with a limit if I want to test this power supply with load now if I will connect the load this power supply will try to draw more current to fulfill the requirement of this load this power resistor so at that time this lamp is limiting the current anytime if there is a short circuit in the power supply if there is something wrong this lamp will glow I will demonstrate in this power supply I have short circuit at the input circuit we will check it so now I verified that this load is working good in this condition I can turn on the second switch so these two lamps are now in parallel and these are providing enough current required for this power supply this time the LED light is stable if I will turn off the first switch just only one lamp the first lamp will remain in the circuit it is 60 watt 60 watt 100 watt you can use 60 100 200 that's also good but this combination is also useful the same configuration I am using in my workbench but this time I organized on the table to give a clear concept now we can say two lamps are in series if I want more current for example I am testing the welding machine or like that in that case I can turn on the second switch so this time one two three lamps are in parallel these three lamps will provide enough current which will require to our next circuit in case of any misbehavior any mistake any failure of the component the board will not damage it will reflect all the current to these lamps and it will indicate that there is something wrong when we are confident that the circuit is good at that time we will just only turn on this switch so at that time it will apply direct power to the system now if there is something short circuit in the power supply we must consider the circuit breaker normally 4 ampere or 6 ampere circuit breaker is enough for the normal loads this time this load is good if I will turn on this switch this time these voltage are reaching in this way because the circuit this switch will provide the shortest way to the load now as I discussed we can use ampere meter to monitor the current we can connect ampere meter in line 
but this time I am using ampere meter in the neutral. To connect ampere meter, we have to disconnect the circuit line are neutral because ampere meter is always connected in series so this time it will display the load current now our power supply is drawing 35 milliampere 34.7 milliampere if i will connect the load it will display that the power supply current is fluctuating this lamp is indicating if i will turn on the first switch two lamps are in series and it will give a stable reading so that it will indicate how much current is flowing in the circuit we can connect this multi this ampere meter in the line or in the neutral we will connect in series ampere meter is always connected in series why the current have to pass through this ampere meter when i removed it it is showing zero zero that there is no current flow if i want to test some circuit This time it is showing this lamp is drawing 271 milliampere. I want to test this circuit. Its MOSFET is short circuit. I will connect line and neutral here. It is showing that it is drawing the maximum current. If I need to add one more lamp, I turn on the first switch and now it is showing that this power supply is fully short circuit that's the two lamps are glowing fully now i am adding third lamp because i turned on the both switches now we will check how much there is a short circuit this time it is drawing 850 milliampere so that means this power supply is totally short circuit we have to troubleshoot it if we will connect directly what will happen might be it will damage the bridge rectifier, it will damage the fuse, it will damage anything. For more safety, we must use this series board. It is a very useful addition. You can organize it on some wooden board. Uh, you can install in the panel. So it will a very useful tool. I hope so this video is informative. If it is informative, hit the like button. If you have any question, please let me know in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.